First you're going to need to log in. Oh, just by the way, we're installing Active Directory. Oh, I'm going to select that. Put in your password. It'll log in. There you go, that's just what server looks like. As you can see it opens Server Manager automatically. You can stop that if you want it to, but I kind of like it. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to add roles and features. Oh, okay. The wizard, yep, yeah, just got to wait a minute, figuring it out. So here we go. Before you begin, blah, blah, blah. We don't really care about that. You can skip it by default if you want, which I'm not going to. It's just a little, you know, telling you what it does. Installation type, role based, or remote desktop, which we're not installing remote desktop. Doing that. This is this computer. See the name of it. Just got to pick which server you want to install the role on. I've only got one server because it's, um, it's not a domain yet. There's no more servers. Next. Now as you can see, all that's installed is file and storage services. What we want to install is Active Directory. These are all the um, features that come with that Active Directory needs to install. Yep. So we're going to go next. If we wanted to install any extra features, which we don't. And next. ADDS, which is Active Directory, what we want to do. Just a little disclaimer. Next. Confirmation. And we will restart automatically if it needs to, which you can do that manually or not. Install. And off it goes, starting the installation. Now what Active Directory does is it lets you have users and stuff like that. You know, users and your computers registered to a domain. So it will make this computer a domain controller. So once this is done, we'll be able to add users and groups and all that kind of stuff. also close the wizard while it's running as it says here and it should be down here or not oh. so there we go it's installed close that and click on active directory domain services Here it goes, configuration required, and go more. Oh, here's the little notification thing. So we're going to want to promote this to the domain controller because there's no other domain. It's not a member of a domain, so it's not going to be a member server, this is going to be the actual controller. So here we go. Add this domain controller to an existing domain. No. Add this domain to an existing forest. We don't have a forest. We want to add a domain. So we're going to call it test.com. Actually, probably shouldn't. Let's call it test.test. .test. Ah, yeah. Actually, we'll just call it test. Oh, no. Oh, no. Next, yeah, we'll just call it test. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we need Clutter.com, why not? do anything at the minute. Must still be figuring something out. And it's time, let's click on this while we're waiting. It's going to do take us to a web page, is it? These always come on things. Let's just add it. Which you really shouldn't, but. And I need to add all these, either that or turn it off. It's going to give us all this crap information that you can read if you want to. So here we go, see that little thing stopped? So it's not thinking at the moment. Now, you always want to set these lower than what you've got to the lowest server that you've got. So if you've got a 2003 server somewhere that you're going to join to this, you want it as a 2003, which I only want it as 2008. And it's always going to want to install DNS if it's the first one and there's no other DNS. Directory restore password. So you're going to need to put in a password for this. There we go, next. Of course that's not going to work, there's no parent zone. We don't need to change that. It's thinking for a bit. Doing its thing. So this is its little thinking bar when that's doing its little thing, so it's thinking. We're just going to want to keep that test. probably going to want to install DNS sometime along here. Yep, that's just where we're going to keep it. All the defaults. This is its little thing of what it does. All its options that you've put in. Next. It's just verifying prerequisites, which I would say is going to say we're going to need DNS which is domain naming service if you didn't know does all your naming names to IP addresses sort of need something to do while you're doing this because it can take a time while all of prerequisites passed so it's done what it does install so 
guys come up with that? No, they can't. Yeah, that you could should be able to click on that link. If we do this. Question mark link I D equals ten four seven five one. Let's see what that says. While we're letting that do its thing. Add that. use smart filter because I don't like it. So that's just crap. We don't really care about any of that. This is what it's done. So it's just cruising along installing it all. will be restarted apparently the server will be restarted there we go You gotta remember the more services you install or roles or everything on a server, the longer it'll take to start. Which is always annoying.
So now you see you're logging on as the domain administrator now because test is the domain slash administrator. So we now have a domain controller. Let's see what's installed on our local server now. Is it still thinking? There's all your little properties of your server. There's the events. Now, as you can see, Active Directory is installed on this server, which is this one here. There's the events to do with Active Directory you would not think there would be many and also DNS has been installed because AD needs DNS to work alright well that's how you install Windows Server 2012 Active Directory